What's up Merch Masterminds, it's Carter from Awkward Styles, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can connect your Shopify store with your YouTube channel to sell your print on demand merch with Awkward Styles directly on your channel. We'll also be covering how you can set up your Google Merchant Center, Google Ads account, link them together and set up the Google Channel app on Shopify, so stick around to find out more. So what is YouTube shopping and why is it so important? To put it quite simple, YouTube shopping allows brands and content creators to sell their products directly through their YouTube channel. With the whopping 2.6 billion monthly active users, it's no secret YouTube is one of the most popular social media platforms. This makes it an ideal platform to enhance the shopping experience for your customers. By combining YouTube shopping with your Shopify store and Awkward Styles, you can automate the entire process, from receiving orders to creating and shipping products. The best part? There's no Awkward Styles branding on any of the products, as we're a white label company, allowing you to maintain complete control over your brand and designs. Alright, so before we dive into the setup process, there are three things you need to have in place. First, you need to have an active YouTube Partner account. You'll need to meet a few requirements in order to join the YouTube Partner program. The main requirements here are that you need to have over 1,000 subscribers and at least 4,000 public watch hours in the last 12 months. Also, you can't have any active community guideline strikes on your channel. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out the full requirements to join. Next, you need to have a fully set up and verified Google Merchant Center and Google Ads account. And you need to have your Google Ads account connected to your Google Merchant account. Once you have all of these in place, you're ready to start setting up your YouTube store. If you're ready to start selling your merchandise on YouTube, let's get started. The first step is to create a Shopify store if you haven't already. You can do this by going to Shopify's website and signing up for an account. Once you've created your store, you'll need to set up your payment gateway and add Awkward Styles as your production partner to add your products. You can also check out our full Shopify tutorial for beginners if you need help getting started. Once that's all set up, log into your YouTube account and click on your profile picture on the top right corner. Click to go to your YouTube studio. Here, click on Earn on the left panel. This will take you to the Channel Monetization tab. But in order to reap its full benefits, you'll need to be a YouTube partner. Once you've reached 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 public watch hours, you'll be able to access YouTube shopping and connect your Shopify account. We've recently hit 1,000 subscribers, shout out to all you beautiful people, but we're still lacking watch hours. However, if your store is illegible, it will look something like this. In the shopping tab, click on connect store and select Shopify. For this next step, we'll need to log into our Shopify account and search for the Google Channel app. Find it in the App Store and click on Add App. Now just click on Add Sales Channel. To set up the Google Channel app, the first thing you'll need to do is connect your Google account. Once you've connected your Google account, you can continue setting up Google Channel. There are five steps you need to complete. The first is to add a valid payment method, and the second is to create an online store and remove your online store password. If you've already set up your Shopify store with Awkward Styles, these two should already be checked off. In order to sell with YouTube Shopping through the Google Channel, you'll need to add a refund policy and terms of service to your store. You can easily do this by clicking here, which will take you to the Policies tab in your Shopify settings. Now you can write this out or paste it if you've already made it, but for this example, I'm going to update our store policies using the templates already offered by Shopify. You can use these and customize them to easily create your policies in minutes. Once you're done, click on save. To finish out this first step, you'll need to confirm that you've added contact information to your online store. This can include a contact form, a link to your store's social media page, an email address, or a phone number. Once you've added some way for your customers to contact you, click on Confirm. Next, you'll need to set up your Google Merchant Center account. If you don't already have one, you can click here to create a new account. Here you would be able to create product feeds and manage your product listings. However, as we have Awkward Styles as our production partner, we don't have to worry about this. Your new account will be created and now you just need to click on connect. 
Make sure that your Merchant Center account doesn't include any weird characters in its name. For example, an underscore like my store name had. Otherwise, you'll need to change this in the Google Merchant Center account settings. Once you've set up your Google Merchant Center account, you'll need to set up your Google Ads account. This is where you can create your ad campaigns and manage your ad spend. To do this, go to the Google Ads website and sign up for an account. After you've set up both accounts, you'll need to link them together. To do this, go to your Google Merchant Center settings and scroll down to link your Google Ads account. Simply click on the prompt and click on link. It will send a request to link your Google Ads account. And you'll need to go into this account and click on the tools and settings icon in the top right corner. From there, you'll see the request and you can click on it to approve. Now that that's set up, let's go back to the Google channel setup. Your next step will be to add a valid business phone number to activate your Merchant Center account. You simply need to add your phone number and you'll need to type in a code that you'll receive via text message on your phone. Next, you need to confirm your product feed settings. Select your target country and language and confirm your shipping settings. Finally, check the terms and conditions box and complete your setup. All right, your Shopify store is now connected to YouTube but now you need to sync your products so that they appear in your YouTube channel. To do this, scroll down to the YouTube shopping section and click on get started. You'll be reminded of the requirements once again, so go over them, make sure your channel meets the requirements, and when you're ready, click continue. Then, select the YouTube channel that you're going to connect to Shopify. Finally, once you've read and agreed to YouTube shopping's terms, check the box and complete your setup. Once you've completed the setup process, your products will be reviewed for compliance under YouTube and Google Merchant Center's policies. This process can take three to five business days, but once they're approved, you'll be able to see them in YouTube Studio's shopping tab. And there you have it. You'll now be able to start selling your merchandise through your YouTube channel. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and guides to get you started selling with awkward styles. Is there something that we haven't covered yet? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.